Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and to another rock pooling video where today I'm going to be showing you everything I found during some rock pooling trips around Dawlish and Dawlish Warren. As usual I found loads of sea life including a new species of nudibranch sea slug as well as much more so make sure to watch until the end of the video to see everything I find and if you go on to enjoy this video please leave a like and remember to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. But for now let me show you what I found. Today's video begins in the clear waters of Dawlish Warren, where I was on the lookout for some more awesome sea creatures as always. The first few finds were groups of common prawns, hanging on to seaweed and traversing the rocky substrate of the rock pools. It's so nice to see the seaweeds thriving at this time of year, although it won't be long until species like sea lettuce begin to die off when the colder weather arrives. Here is a compass jellyfish, the first time I've seen one at Dawlish Warren. Unfortunately, this individual wasn't alive, but it's still an interesting find. There's still plenty of crystal jellyfish washing up on our local beaches. I found a lot more than this one here. Wireweed dominates the pools here at Dawlish Warren. This invasive species arrived on our shores in 1973 from Asia and has since then become established. I'm really happy with this hermit crab footage I managed to get. It's up there with some of the best footage I've ever shot. I love the different colorations of daisy and enemies we have on our shores, and this black and white color morph may be my new favorite. Originally, I thought this was just a juvenile shani, but once I zoomed in with my camera, I found out that this was actually a juvenile Montague's Blenny, which was amazing to see as I've never found one here before. It wasn't spooked by the camera, so I was able to get some really great footage. Shortly after though, I did manage to find a shani in a nearby rock pool. Dwarf brittle stars are often overlooked because of their size and dull colour, but after finding a handful of them recently, I feel I'm able to spot them quite easily.
Here is another dwarf brittle star I managed to capture traversing a patch of serrated rack. And here is the new species of nudibranch I found. This is a grey sea slug and is the first individual I've ever found of this species. This sea slug usually has grey, brown or cream coloration. It is covered in lots of projections unique to nudibranchs known as serrata. It also has a white V-shaped mark on the front of its head. This is one of the largest species of nudibranch we have on our shores, growing up to around 12 centimetres in length. And this species feeds on a wide variety of sea anemones, and also they can lay up to 400,000 eggs in a ribbon-like formation. At first glance, I thought this was an egg mass attached to this patch of serrated rack, but when I looked closer, it was actually a type of bryozone that was feeding via the moving appendages you can see in this clip. There are lots of small bait fish in the rock pools at this time of year, but I wasn't close enough to see what specific species these guys were. I do hope you all enjoyed this rock pooling video. If you did, please leave a like and remember to subscribe to keep up with my latest videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.